Well, Carlisle United coming this weekend, and I mean, you had some wonderful battles with them last season. Yeah, it, uh, it's been mentioned a few times, and I'm at pains to say it's two very different teams than the two that battled out last May. But um, Keith and myself are still in charge, so we still have that knowledge of each other and that sort of recent history. But the players are different. The, the dynamics of teams in League Two change quite regularly, even with consistency of managerial positions. You know, the players who leave the club, it's, it's hard to replicate those players. So, you, you know, you, you're never at liberty to pick and choose always how you play. You have to get the best out of your teams and respond to recent form. And, you know, with Carlisle and ourselves have done that now over the last 12 months. So they're in form at the moment. They've won four out of four, I think, coming into this game. So um, they need to be, uh, they need to be respected. Uh, do you prefer coming up against a manager you've uh, come up against before or crossing swords or somebody who perhaps you haven't done before? I don't mind. I, I, I look forward to every game and you have to, you know, if someone's in a, in a position, footballers, managers, coaches, they're professional people, they want to win, it's their livelihood at stake, they're going to be serious about what they do. It's, it's, it's never a case of wanted to win more than the opposition it's a, it's a case of know-how and understanding and let's just assume everyone's trying really hard so it's, it's always it's always nice to see managers you've come across before I mean there's it's, it's probably a myth that you know, there's always a always a sort of a confrontation between all managers that does happen but on the whole everyone seems to get on pretty well um, we all respect the hard job we've all got and how difficult it is to put a team on the pitch and have a consistent level of performance. I think we all respect that, and I have to say I do learn from from other managers. You know, you you you, you can you never stop picking up, um, you know, things that you can use. Like we did that last year. You know, I, I said to Keith after the semi-finals last year, there were things that they did to us and where they played against us that I've I've learned and or learned from, and maybe added one or two of those things to to our repertoire so you, you, you always have to pick up and, and whether you win or lose you still have to analyse and and understand how things work and we'll continue to do that and Carlisle have been a really good example of that to us Are you looking injury wise? Pretty good I mean I don't think we've been um, stronger in terms of the depth of the squad and players are all back from injury um, I mean I'm certainly not going to get too pleased because things things can change literally in an instant. I mean, obviously Kane Wilson is suspended from his two yellow cards at Grimsby, but apart from that, we're in pretty pretty good shape. So we're going to need it. There's a lot of games coming up. It's almost two games a week now for the next six or seven weeks. So I think it's uh, got to get heads down, and uh, you know, we've we've got to keep everyone fit and match fit, and that's um, the beauty of the under 23 tournament we're still in. Premier League 20, uh, 23 tournament, um, the continual reserve games that we arrange, so everyone's playing football. Uh, you've got something like uh, five games in 15 days, something like that coming out. Are you happy with how the, fix the rearranged fixtures have been scheduled in? Not always, but it is what it is, and um, that, the way that process works, if we, you, know, you have a game postponed, we look at the calendar, the opposition does the same thing, and you do that in the in the comfort of your own office and then you the secretaries put dates to each other some f suit one team more than the other and you try to come up with some kind of uh, amicable decision and then you put that to the football league and they say yes or no to it and you might you might agree something and the football league says no it's too late we need to get that done sooner and so there's a lot of to and fro in and eventually you get a date and it, it's, it's a compromise you don't always get exactly what you want and um, that's the way it is um, but you, know, you want to play the games sooner rather than later and you look at your schedule and you think crikey there's no rest period at all and but you look at how many weeks you've got left and you realize you do have to just get on and play them and uh, it's not perfect but uh, you know we, we've been at the mercy of, of the elements and the weather and we've had games and the FA Cup and We've got to do what we've got to do. Uh, are you in the stage of the season now where you started talking back to one or two players about next season as of yet or not really? Yeah I have um, it's a continual a club where there's where there's consistency and longevity like we have here. You, you're in that process all the time. It's not just a get to Easter and then start panicking about it. Now we we have those we have those discussions all the way through the year. So we've been 
we've been on that on that theme pretty much all the way through. So, um, you know, the squad is 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 is, is pretty st steady. It, most of it will go into next year. There'll be one or two changes, perhaps. Um, I'd like to think we're discussing, you know, a possible um, promotion to League One uh, and what happens then with recruitment. But we're certainly not going to get ahead of ourselves. Um, we do that every year, of course. It's exactly what you do every year. But we are a League Two club, and we have to, before we can even think about anything else, we have to um, finish that top three, and that's our target. And until that happens, we we're a League Two club, and the players are League Two footballers, and we all need to win and get ourselves into the next league. Uh, if I can ask uh, you just about one of the uh, signings you made, in, well, late summer, I suppose, uh, Jaden Stockley. But I mean, he's been. Yeah, he's been weighing in with the goals and he's scored important goals at important times of games as well, hasn't he? And I mean, that's what you want from your strikers. That's what he's paid to do. That's what I brought him in for. We had a good look at him a couple of years ago, so he, we, I wasn't blind to his, his, his skill set. So um, I'm not surprised he's done it. That's what he gets paid for. Um, he's done a good job so far, but it's, it's not a surprise to me and I'd be disappointed if he hadn't been you know, that type of performance level. But more importantly, it's about the games we win and about making sure we get results, and he's part of that. So, and he does contribute greatly to d defending things as well, defending set pieces and stuff, as they all do, you know. So, it's a collective. We've got to score more goals in the opposition. Uh, Jaden's done his fair bit. There are other players that equally have done their bit. They just don't happen to be at the end of the, the route to goal. But he is, and he's done his job, and um, long may that continue.